Hello, welcome back to Funtime Crafts 24-7. This is a let's make video. And uh, what we're going to make today is we're going to make a slimline card using the Stamps of Life Giraffe Slimline Folded Die Set. This cute little one right here. Um, here, that's the actual name of it there. But um, isn't that adorable? That is so cute. So I made a card already. I made this one here. Uh, this base is Stamps of Life Chocolate Brown. Um... This is an Anna Griffin um, ivory cardstock that I um, blended pool ink color on, Stamps of Life pool ink. I used, on this card, I used pool, chocolate, and twig inks on it. I cut the cute little giraffe out in Anna Griffin ivory cardstock. Uh, the, the layering and the intricate dye, and the intricate dye I edged in twig. And then I took a little water brush and I colored its cute little mu muzzle, did like a little fade on its little muzzle. And so all the spots are twig and then like the little tail and his feet, his ears, his eyes and everything are all chocolate. And um, then um, I used the little, um, the there's a little birdie, uh, let's see, I used the Stamps of Life. Uh, bird houses to stamp dies um, the little pole the little birdies and this little birdie house and uh, cut those all out in the coordinating colored colors edged them in twig and then between uh, a, a few stamp sets um, this is one this is a Sizzix um, Stephanie Bernard uh, stamp set and it's like framelits with stamps it's like a what is this one called oh flowers and fence stamp and die set and so this had a high and a hello and then one of the where did i get the hay there oh the hay there came out of the moose mountain class set that one there and then i just use a fisker's little um speaking um label punch and uh, stamped them in chocolate brown and then punched them. And I just got it for the little speaking part portion. So then I just hand trimmed them out around the words for how I wanted it. But they still look like they're each of the little birdies in the giraffe are saying something. Isn't that so cute? Edged those up in twig. And then, um, oh, and then I used uh, the new uh, Stamps of Life uh, Picket Fence Mini Slimline Fold It. Or maybe it is a full-size slimline. That probably is a full size. It's three and a half by eight and a half. So yeah, full size uh, slimline. Um, and so then uh, use that. Pop the little birdie and the little um, speech bubbles up and the little birdhouse up with some dimensionals. Uh, glue the giraffe, the fence, and the little grass. The little grass is actually a wavy grass dye I got off of Amazon. And uh, then... Um, yeah, I just uh, put a little, um, used my uh, P-Touch Embellish uh, label maker, this one right here. I just recently acquired it, and uh, it does all different colors of uh, easy tape labels. And so I just put, just checking in, uh, hope your day is great. And then I uh, cut out a little birdhouse uh, for the inside and thought that just came out. These are Stamps of Life's uh, scalloped uh, rectangle dies. And this is a twig and then Anna Griffin ivory cardstock. Uh, Stamps of Life twig and Anna Griffin ivory. And I just centered them up since they're smaller than my card base. My card base is actually a four by nine and a quarter. And then this layer is three and three quarter by nine. And so I thought for the giraffe, because it's so big, um, it made a really nice size of a card to put it on. And that way you could have a little background scene and thought this just came out so darn cute. <laughs> it is the cutest little giraffe. Oh my heavens, it's so cheery. It reminds me of Buddy. It's so happy. <laughs> yeah, it's super cute. And uh, yeah, so there's that. And so, but this is a kind of card I already made, but I don't want to uh, recreate this one. I actually have another gadget I want to use. And um, I have a beach themed, actually Aloha, Hawaiian theme in mind. And uh, basically I want to cut my giraffe out and I want to put a little luau skirt and a little lay on it, a little hibiscus flower in its ear 
and uh, do a sunset background and, you know, do a little aloha card, you know, like, hello, but Hawaiian hello. <laughs> or like you could do mahalo. You could do like, uh, you could do like mahalo summer vibes or a summer mahalo vibes, you know, like aloha, summer aloha vibes, like summer hello vibes. Uh, you could do, you know, any of those kinds of things. And so, yeah, I wanted to uh, use this fun set in my little toucan. And so instead of putting the little birdies on the back, I was going to have my little toucan sitting on his back. <laughs> and, uh, a, you know, a little hibiscus, because look at the little hibiscus flowers. <laughs> That'd be like a perfect size little lay. And then um, I could do like the smaller of these two and do for this skirt and then cut out little grass like it's wearing a little a grass skirt. Like how cute would that be? Um, so uh, in order to find out how adorable it's going to be, we're going to need to get started. However, um, I was going to do a background. Um, I'm going to do a background first so that way they can be really drying. And uh, what... What I want to do is I want to take and I want to cut down a piece of Anna Griffin ivory cardstock. And do I want to do ivory or actually, no, I'm not going to do ivory. I am going to do white, plain old white cardstock. And uh, I want to cut this down to three and a half by eight and three quarters. And so let me do that and I'll be right back and then I'll show you my new fun gadget. Okay, so here's my panel, my white panel, and what I have is, I have this terrific new gadget. It is called a cordless marker airbrush. It's by We Are Memory Keepers, and this thing is a blast. Um, the thing I found that it's really, really awesome for is if you're making three-dimensional flowers, and you want that like faded ombre effect on the, on the edge of your flower petals, it does it beautifully. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I threw some black on some flowers, threw some dark pink on some pink flowers I had already made, and they came out absolutely gorgeous. They were just so beautiful. Um, and uh, so uh, the thing I wanted to uh, make with you today is I wanted to make a sunset background. And the so, so what it is is the airbrush, it's a cordless airbrush. So it has um, a cord that comes with it that is um a, a usb the mini usb uh cord here let me get it i had it plugged in charging so that way we could use it it comes with this little cord it comes with this pack of 12 markers including all of these here these 12 markers and it comes with a stencil um, because it, it works really awesome with stencils. I tried it with the cloud stencil and it worked. It was fun. Like the effect that you got from it. It comes with this stencil here. Um, a whole bunch of just fun little designs you can use on all kinds of things. And, um, and that's about it. And so it, it is so stinking fun. So all you do is after you charge it up with a little cord, you just get a USB, you know, I have a little plug that takes a USB cord and so then I just use that and plug it into the wall and and charge it up and so then all you do is you take your marker and you put it into you insert it into this top hole right here and then you want to make sure you push it all the way down um to where you can't push it anymore and that way you know the air is going to blow onto the ink and uh make it come out so um, and then all you do is this here, that's the power button. It's so easy. And so then you just, you just literally start spraying. So here, let's wait. <laughs> I don't know if it'll get everywhere. I've been doing it over the trash can, but I got this scrap, scrapbook paper here that, um, it's just text weight. And so, and then all you do is you push the button on the side and then you like, right. You just airbrush your background. And it, it's a little bit loud, but it is really, really fun. And it does a great job. You just hold it a few inches above the paper. And you can like you can like fade one color into another. It's really awesome. So I'm gonna do yellow, orange. And so we're making a little beautiful Hawaiian sunset background. And so I'm gonna do orange. 
and you just splatter the next one onto the other and it does like a whole splattering effect and you just keep going over it until you get it as dark as you want and what worked for me pretty good was I went over um, each color with the color before that I used and it like blended it it blended it really nice so then like that you want to make sure you put your caps back on so they don't dry out and don't leave one in it you know you want to take it out and um, put the cap on so then I just go over this one and go up into that color so you get that ombre effect into the next color yeah right isn't that great and then you go with the next one which I'm going to use this like magenta color push it all the way in and then kind of start on the one before and then go up and you just keep going over it and over it and over it until you're happy with the saturation like how dark it is and it's pretty quick I think it's great and so then get the last color and then you go over that and it like blends it a little better and and these yep up and do it and then back down isn't that great it's so pretty uh, actually it looks like I might need a little bit more down here yeah that looks a little better more blended and then you I'm gonna use a dark purple on the top and yeah you just want to make sure like your stuff's out of the way so you're not getting ink on it all whoops yeah there we go and then all the way in And then, I'll just hold it down here. And it dries relatively quickly. But you do want this amount of ink. You want do want time to dry. So I start off the page. Into the one before. And this being darker, we'll probably have to go over it quite a bit more. Yeah, this is so fun. Yeah, I tried it on the cloud stencil, and it worked great on the cloud stencil. Yeah, right? Isn't that pretty? Ooh, whoops. But don't push the button pointing out into nowhere. <laughs> you don't know where it's going to go. Oh, hopefully. <laughs> uh, and then do the last color before. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, this is so pretty. Right? Doesn't that look like a Hawaiian background? Oh, my goodness. Hawaiian sunset. Oh, so pretty. And that's it. That's all there is to this little gadget. You plug it in, charge it. I mean, it is easy peasy. And it holds a charge for a long time. And uh, goes for quite a while. So, I mean, they're still juicing it. And we did this whole this whole panel. So I want this to actually dry for just a little bit. Um, even though it's dry to the touch, um, it it's still the paper still wet. So I want to let this dry. So I'm just going to set this aside. And then next what we want to do is, um, oh, the other thing is, is if you don't have the tool, I blended a background with uh, Distress Oxide inks. A lot of us have these. And so let me show you what that looks like. And it looks like this. It's uh, mustard seed, ripe persimmon. Then I did seedless preserves. And then it, I did wilted violet. And that's what that looks like. And it's pretty comparable. Like, right? Pretty comparable. Um, I do like the brightness of this one. I like the blended of this a little bit better. And like, I have this little here. I have my little giraffe cut out. And, uh. I got ink on the on him before, but I'm going to cover that up. I'm still going to use this one. 
But look at, look how cute. Isn't that going to be adorable? Yeah. And then, but then you have all the, I, I love the texture of the airbrush on this. I think this is so fun. And it's a little bit brighter than that oxide, which I really like the contrast with the ivory cardstock. So I think I'm going to use this one. Uh, but I did do this one. So if you have the Distress Oxide inks, those are the ones here. Those two and these two. There we go. And so um, I could actually technically make two, but we're just going to do one today. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to get a black. Uh, let me put this fun little new tool away. So give that a try if you're looking for a new gadget. This was really fun. I uh, bought this off of, you can get it at Joann's or scrapbook.com. Um, uh, so now what I want to do is I need a card base. And I'm going to do a black card base. So I got these few colors out. Um, I want to do a black card base. Let's see. I think I'm going to go black. Let's see what our... Uh, what are we thinking here? No, I think I'm still going to just do that. I think I'm just going to do that. Okay, so I'm going to do a layer. I'm going to do this and black. So I'm going to do a four by nine and a quarter inch um, card base. So I'm going to cut this at eight by nine and a quarter. And then on the eight side, I'm going to score it four. So it'll be four by nine and a quarter. And then I'm going to cut this layer and I'm going to cut it down to, um, let's see, three and three quarters by nine. And then I'm going to layer that on top of that. And I think that's going to be so pretty and very like, you know, Hawaiian summery vibe. And then what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut my, I'm going to use this guy because I already had it. Um, I cut another one because I wasn't sure what my other was going to look like. So, and I got schmutz on it, but I think I can cover it up. Um, so I'm going to cut another, the intricate dye of my giraffe out in ivory. Where are you, little giraffe? I'm going to cut the intricate dye out in ivory. I think I'm going to do banana. Uh, I think I'm going to do banana for the spots. Uh, stamps of life banana. Let me get a piece of that. I didn't get any of that out. Um, let's see. I didn't use the blue jay. I thought I was going to use that for the background, but we ended up doing this instead. And let me cut these pieces out. And then if I do something else, I'll tell you what I did. <laughs> okay. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. So we got our card base cut out and, uh, folded up. And then we have our first layering piece. Uh, that's going to be our green like this, right? And then our sunset is going to go in here like this. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love that. I think it's so cheery. Okay, and then we got our little giraffe cut out, which is right here. And we don't need any of the ivory pieces in the giraffe. But what we want to do now is we want to get our banana ink. Um, can we cover that? Oh, we'll see what we can do there. Um, we want to get our banana ink and we want to edge our little giraffes. So let me get that real quick. Okay, so I've got the banana ink. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and edge our little giraffe. Just a little sponge dauber here. And uh, just lightly go over. <laughs> How bright and cheery is that? Um, go lightly go over the edge of our sweet little giraffe. I almost said deer. <laughs> that is not a deer. <laughs> yep, that's all I'm doing is just edging it around all the different little pieces. And just the deer, I'm not, I'm not, or just a deer, just a giraffe. I'm not doing all the pieces. Uh, I'm not doing like the spots or anything like that. And it's just fun. It just adds a little extra fun color. Livens it up a bit on the background as well. So, edges, little legs this little leg it's that side of that little leg 
And then uh, what we want to do is, uh, let's see, we want to go ahead and we want to grab, uh, let's see, get a little water brush. And we'll, um, we'll do a little banana. I squish a little ink on the pad there. And we'll get a little water brush and we'll um, do up his little muzzle and stuff. Enhance a couple of features. Now you want to take some uh, scratch paper. And so you can just kind of, because we're just not, we're not trying to color the muzzle in. We're just trying to, like, highlight the muzzle. Well, so much for that. Now we're coloring it in. <laughs> well, <laughs> there is that. That's okay. <laughs> Maybe I can get it darker on the edge then. There. I was actually just trying to ombre it in. I wasn't trying to actually color the whole muzzle in. <laughs> oh, that looks pretty good. That's okay there. Okay. Oh, and then we are going to highlight the his legs right here. So you can tell he has got two legs back there. Not just one leg. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. And now what we want to do is um, put that aside. And go ahead and glue this one to this one. And look how cute that is. Isn't that adorable? Oh my heavens. That's a cute little giraffe. Okay, so let's um, glue this guy down. That is darling. And then we're going to do a little paper piecing, too. So if you don't like paper piecing, you could always just use your markers and just color it in. I don't mind the paper piecing, so... Um, I, that's how I do it that way instead. Yeah, I don't mind it. So I'm trying to center it up on the layering. See, and I like the ivory on the back because it will pop. It'll really pop this way. Okay, there we go. See, look how cute that is already. That's already really cute. That is already really cute. Okay, so now we're going to take all of our banana pieces. Oh, actually, so I'm going to take all these little banana spots, the spots in this, this giraffe I cut out, and I'm going to glue them in uh, to these little spots. And you'll see there'll be some that will be, uh, that will have to die cut the ones on the edge so they all match. And, uh, I put glue on all the dots first and then, um, whoops, uh, I put glue on all the dots first and then I use my gem pickup tool. And then I apply them with that. So they go right into their little... They drop into the little spots. <laughs> the spots drop into the little spots. That one went upside down. See, like that. Does this one go here? Does that go like that? I don't know. One fell out. Oh, I think that one's upside down. It looks fine, though. Let's see. This one is upside down. So I'm just going to keep doing this. Uh, doing this all the way down until I get all the little spots in. And then I'll be right back and show you uh, what, what, how, what we're going to cut out. So hang on one sec. Let me finish this. Okay, so now what I want to do is 
I want to cut out all the little spots on the edge of his body. And you'll notice like they're already part cut. You just have to snip the little connector pieces off. And then you can... Come on. Then you can glue them onto your... Piece them onto your giraffe. And I just do them right over the top um, of the one that's already there. Because it gives me a line to see where I line it up at. And I think that looks cute like that. So I'm going to do that uh, all the way down on all those spots and the two up there on his head. And then I'll be right back. Okay, we got all the little spots done. So that's what our little giraffe's looking like. And now what we want to do is I've cut it out in, so we're done with this piece and we can discard that. And we're done with this and we can put these away. Oh, uh, can we? Yes, we can. Um, wait. And so now what we want to do is we want to get the twig one. Done with that. Uh, we want to get this little guy here. And this little guy has, oh shoot. Oh, right there. The, these little nose pieces, we have to get in. We have to put in his little nose. Those are a little bit harder. But I just put ever so slight of a dot, dot of glue, just the smallest amount. And I still use the pickup tool to put them in their little spots. And then the other end of these... Pushes it where you want it to go. So then grab this little guy. Wait. Oh yeah. See how cute? That is adorable. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to cut the top of the little giraffe antenna off the little balls on the giraffe antenna his little eyes the middle of his ears so i'm gonna i'm gonna cut around the ears and then we're gonna cut the middle of the ears out like this Like that. And then these little guys are going to get glued like this. And then like this one was already falling out. Like that. Like how cute, right? And then the little antenna balls. I'm going to do his eyes, the antennas, his tail, and then his feet. Now the tail doesn't have... A spot where you cut it off. But I'm just... Where it's a little bushy right there. I'm just going to nip it off right there. And we'll add that down here. Like that roughly. And then we'll just cut at the edges of where... The little feet attach. And I do those one at a time. So I know which one they go on. And don't get confused with that. And then the the his little antenna don't have a spot. But I cut them right at the bottom of where it curves. And then I do try to keep these separate. Like I know this one goes on this side. And this other one goes on the other side. And uh, so that way they'll line right up. Okay. And then I do the same with the little eyes. The little eyes I cut those out. There goes his little eye. And you try to keep them on the proper sides. So I'm just going to do that one first and then cut that one out and glue it on. So let me finish gluing all these little pieces on in the hooves and stuff. And I'll be right back. Okay, there's our little giraffe. That's what it looks like. Isn't it the sweetest little thing? Oh my goodness, how cute is that? And it is going to look wonderful on our card. So there's our little 
Uh, there's our card base. And then there's our little giraffe. Oh, we need some grass. I forgot. Uh, I need to cut out some grass to go down here. And, okay. So, we're done with this. I can pitch all that. Um, let's see. Yeah, let me cut some grass out for the bottom. Okay, so here's the plan now. I still have to do the flowers for the lay and the ear. And then the flowers to try to do a grass skirt here. I was going to see what I could do there. Um... And then the little toucan. I want the little toucan to sit on the back. Uh, sit on his back. And so I think... I generally paper piece these together. Um, so I think what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it out in white. The layering in white. I'm going to cut him out in black and white. And color the pieces in. So actually I'm going to do them in ivory. I'm going to do this in ivory. Cut this out in black and white, and then color the beak and the legs in is what I'm going to do. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And then I think what I want to do is I want to stamp. I'm Then I'm going to stamp these. So let me get my toucan put together, and then we'll... Oh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp these in Spectrum Noir ink. Stamp a whole bunch of them. The same with, I'm going to stamp about three of this flower on white. I'm going to stamp these on white. These, this three times and this multiple times um, on white. And then I'm going to use my scan and cut and cut them out. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my little black toucan glued onto the ivory one. And now, uh, let's see, I want to, don't forget to put that eyeball in there. That's the little white eyeball. I know you can't hardly tell, but it's all in the details. <laughs> so now what I want to do is I want to color his beak yellow. Oh, here's some yellow. Um... Okay, and then um, his little legs, I want to color orange. Um, let's see, we'll grab an orange here. And then we're going to keep his little chest the same color. And this made it to where you don't have to... Um, cut out multiple card stocks. You can just do a couple and then it goes so much quicker. So now we'll trim these off and we need his little chest piece and let's see, we need the little to the eye okay and then we need that piece okay and that's the rest of our little toucan and we'll glue these on see look how cute that is isn't that cute Oh, how cute. Okay, so now his, the little legs. Actually, if we put the glue on these legs, might be easier. And pick this up with this. Okay, and that is pretty cute. Oh my goodness, look at that little toucan. Oh, so actually, his eye <laughs> needs to be black, not white. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh, darn it. And, uh, well, okay, we'll get a fine tip. Let's, let's get a fine liner tip pen. 
This is a, a liner pen. There. Okay, that's cute. That's cute, too. There. That's our little toucan. How cute is that? And then he'll sit out. Oh, right. How cute. Hello. And we're going to put that little toucan party better than one. <laughs> Won't that be great? Okay, so let's see. Yeah, our little toucan will go like that. Ish. Ish. We need our grass. I forgot about the grass. So let me cut the grass out. I have these. Um, oh, and, and I'll do this. So I'm going to do um, the large in the, the same green and the next one down in white cardstock for the inside. And then I'm going to do this in this kiwi green and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got this for my grass. But I actually want to ink this up a little bit to give it a little bit more dimension down here. Um, before I put that on there, uh, make it pop a little bit more. And Oh, that's actually, is that kiwi or at green apple? Gosh, I don't know what this color is. I thought this was green apple. I don't know. I don't know what color this is. <laughs> I'm using green apple though <laughs> to make my grass pop a little more. But I'm pretty sure this is a little bit whiter than my layering piece. So I'm just going to do this and then I'll highlight the edges after I get it glued on. And then I got my two pieces cut for the the inside. And then just right to the bottom. There we go. And then we're going to cut this off. We're going to trim these two pieces off. Same with this side. Oh, right. How cute is that? Oh, my goodness. And then a little bit more on that side. Oh, so cute. That is grass. Adorable. Oh, hopefully I didn't get schmutz on that. <laughs> okay. And then... Okay, and so then this, oh my goodness, that's going to layer on there. <gasps> How adorable. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these popped on. And I'm just going to go ahead and glue one to the other. Uh, yeah, let's glue this down. Centered up on here. Isn't that just so fun? Come on. Get to center. There we go. <laughs> I almost got it crooked. Not that it's perfectly straight now, but <laughs> my eye can't tell. <laughs> That's all that matters. <laughs> hmm. It's not as crooked as it potentially could be, I guess. <laughs> All right, line it up on the card piece. Oh, I hope. Make sure you're going the right way. <laughs> there we go. Oh my goodness, isn't that terrific? Oh, that is so cool. Okay, nice. Now we'll get these. Yeah, let's layer this on top of that one. And then we'll put a little hibiscus flower in here. And that'll be really fun. Oh, yeah. That is so cute. This is, like, super, super cheery with all the bright colors. Like, total summer vibes. Totally 
totally okay and then we're just centering it up because this is actually quite large for the inside but it looks really fun so like because it's the stamps of life scalloped rectangles it's it like looks super fun right that's like really cool and then a hibiscus flower down here and stamp something there and yeah i think that is awesome and then look how cute this is so now we just got to work on our little hula skirt our little grass hula skirt our little toucan oh gosh right how cute is that okay so I think what we're going to pop up on this are the hibiscus flowers. So I'm going to go ahead and glue my little giraffe down and my little toucan down. It's just paper. You don't need too much glue. Um, let's see. You want to... Yeah, that looks so cute like that. Okay. Hold that down for just a minute. Just a little second. And then we'll get our little... Got little glue bits on there. <laughs> Had to kind of scrape them off. Make it look a little more professional. <laughs> oh, should we have popped our little toucan up? Oh, that, that might have been cute. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. A little toucan can sit right there. Okay, and then now, now what we want to do for the flowers is I think I'm uh that one's too janky so let me grab a piece of white cardstock and start stamping and coloring stamping and coloring these oh and cutting I need to cut these out I was gonna do the little palm frond leaves for the skirt is what I was thinking oh look how cute that one is must have been a leftover let's see what it looks like a little starfish. I think those are the middle of the hibiscus flowers, <laughs> actually. Let's see. Will that make a cute little... Oh, yeah. See? We'll do like three little leaves with the hibiscus flowers. Uh, for uh, Actually, it'll need to be down here. Three hibiscus flowers for like the little skirt. Oh, yeah. We'll see like that. We'll do three. I think three would get us our little hula skirt. And then... Or should the hula skirt go this way? Oh, wait, actually, should the hula skirt... The hula skirt should probably go this way. <laughs> okay, so we will need... So we'll do, like, four... Let's see, one... One, two, three, four. I'll do four of these little leaves, and then we'll do... Should we do these bigger flowers? Should we do the bigger flowers? Those might be too big. I might just only... Well, the leaves are giant. So, yeah, we do need to go size appropriate. <laughs> uh, let's just take the stamp out and see what it looks like. So, there. So, if we put our little leaf, we happen to have this one. Yeah, actually, yeah, we'll do like... Oh, yeah. Okay, that'll be like a little... That'll be really cool. That'll be actually really cool. Little, they'll be too big. No, I, th I think those are going to still be too big. One, two, three, even if they were layered on top. I think they're going to look funny, and I think they're going to want to be, we're going to want to be cardstock on these. So let me cut them out in some fun colors of cardstock, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got all my little pieces cut out, and I ended up not, I'm not going to use these big hibiscus flowers because they're, they're too big and they basically cover up almost all my giraffe. Um, so I thought, well, let's just um, use the little ones and we'll just use the small of the big leaves on that one set. Oh, and I didn't even say what these are. <laughs> they are tropical flower dyes and... Then the other one are the toucan dies. The the toucan dies. That's where the little flower and the toucan came from. Those. Okay. And so then what I've popped these to get my little centers to stay in. I've taken a little uh, Stampin' Up Dimensional. And I flip them over and I put it on the back. Then I flip it back over. And I use my pickup tool. 
and I try to line up the little star as best I can in the center. And that's how I did all of those. Okay, and so now what we want to do is, okay, so then what I did for these, I just taped the center on the back because it comes out in two pieces. So I just taped it. When it was in the die, I just taped it so it stayed together. And now what we're going to do is we're going to pop these up with dimensionals as well, but we want bigger ones. And so we're going to use the larger Stampin' Up! ones. And we are going to pop one on each of these. And this is going to be such a cute little Hawaiian uh, hello card. Oops, that one. The little backer came off that one. That's okay. Okay, so we're going to go, I think, about here. I'm going to try to stay about there so that way we don't lose. Um, We don't, we don't lose, per se, the... All the spots because we did all that paper piecing together. So, and or our tail. Uh, so, I think I'm going to try to stay. Yeah, I think that's going to work good. We're going to go about there. And then this one will nestle in about here. <laughs> and it's all like stacked. That's so cute. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and glue these little flowers. Oh, let's see. What color do we want for her ear? We do a little pink one or a little blue one. Oh, the little blue is cute. Let's do the little blue one. Oh, what do we need down here, though? So I'm going to pop these up on top of the little branches here. Let's just stick these down and see what we end up with left. Yeah. And I'm not worried if you can see, if you can actually see the little um, stem sticking up. That doesn't bother me at all. God, this is so cute. Oh, some of these were supposed to be for a lay. Oh, shoot. Oh, darn it. Um, Well, we don't need a lay. That's okay. I forgot we were putting a lay on her. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. We'll just... It'll be our little hibiscus. <laughs> yeah, she's so cute. Oh my heavens, that is adorable. Wait, oh, I didn't take the backer off. Isn't that the cutest little thing? Oh my heavens, look at that. That is so cute. Can you even see all of it? Isn't that adorable? Oh my goodness. Yeah, that is pretty fun. All right, there we go. That is cute. Okay, now I need a sentiment. Uh, let me get a sentiment and, um, let's see, what were we going to do? I was, I think I'm going to do, still do the aloha. I think I'm still going to do the aloha or mahalo. Mahalo is pretty fun. Aloha. Um, I think I'm going to go right here or mahalo. I think I'm going to do aloha. That, that, that is actually, that's pretty cute. So, um, I think I'm going to do this on a speech bubble too in black and punch that out. Yeah. Speech bubble, aloha. And then, um, I think I'm going to do, um, yeah, I think I'm going to stamp that on a speech bubble in white or on yeah i need a white okay hold on let me let me get this here hold on okay so um aloha is the winner because it fit <laughs> so and then i went ahead and cut out three more flowers because they are so cute and uh, I thought, you, you got to have a lay. <laughs> You're in, uh, doing a whole Hawaiian card. You got to have um, 
one of these beautiful hibiscus flowered uh, necklaces. And they're so cute. Like, right? That totally makes the whole, the whole thing. And then, oh, we gotta pop this up on a dimensional as well. And just gonna use a, oh, right here, a large one of these. And I'll pop that on the back. And like that. And I think that is adorable. What do you guys think? Isn't that so cute? Aloha. Oh, we need, oh, I could put these flowers in here. <gasps> Sweet. So now they won't go to waste. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. And we'll just cascade them. We'll just cascade them like that. And then we can write a beautiful little message in there. Oh, or should we actually, let's see. We could pop one up here. No. Let's see. I think I like those. We'll do these. Oh, yeah. We'll do like that. We'll do that. And then we'll do these three cascaded down here. Oh, yeah. That's so pretty. Yeah, that'll go. That works great. So now. Oh, gosh. Right? How pretty is that? That is lovely. And I just, yeah, taped the uh, centers in these. And that way they would stay in. Just like the leaves. Yeah, right? Isn't that great? Yeah, I think that's so pretty. And so cheery. I think it's so cheery. Yeah, probably like that. Yeah, that's really pretty. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. So now we got a really fun Hawaiian vibe on the inside. And then our cute little giraffe. How cute is that? Isn't that terrific? All right, let me know what you guys think of the card down in the comments below. Let me know what you think of the uh, We Are Memory Keeper uh, airbrush pen. Uh, right here. This here. Yeah. A cordless marker airbrush uh, like that if you want a fun new gadget super super fun super cool and uh, there it is there that's my card that's what I got oh here is the first one I made let me know which one you like the best I think this one's a super fun one uh, for a summertime I think that is so cute and so yeah there it is, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out. Uh, hope you had a good time. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you did. And uh, leave me a comment down below. Thanks again. Thanks for hanging out. Until next time, happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye.